What is going on everyone? Bitter Hyena here. So lately, I've kind of gotten into something new. So as most of you know, here on the channel, every once in a while, we'll open up some packs of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, whether it be English or Japanese. But as of late off camera, I have really gotten back into Yu-Gi-Oh. Nowhere near like I am like with collecting Pokemon or anything, but I'm definitely spending more money on Yu-Gi-Oh than I have before. Now I haven't gone too crazy, but I have picked up some single cards I liked. I managed to get a lot on eBay of some very old Japanese packs, which just look absolutely amazing. These, of course, are for my sealed collection. I don't have any plans on opening these yet. But along with that, for some odd reason, who knows why, my son is really getting into opening packs of cards. Doesn't really matter what it is, he just likes to pull the shiny things, you know, like the rest of us. So instead of going out and buying like a collection box or anything like that in hopes of pulling something shiny, I've been dabbling in Korean Yu-Gi-Oh cards. As of now, I've opened up two booster boxes and I've got to say, seriously, Korean Yu-Gi-Oh cards are slept on. They are absolutely amazing. The quality is so much better than the Pokemon counterpart. Like these, in my opinion, rival the Japanese versions. I've pulled so many Dark Magician Girls as well. I'm so happy. But yes, I absolutely love Korean Yu-Gi-Oh cards now. And the sets are so freaking cheap just like the Pokemon boxes and everything. So with that being said, you can bet you will be seeing some Korean Yu-Gi-Oh openings here on the channel. And of course, that's what we're gonna do today. For today's video, we are going to open up a box of the Korean Legendary Gold set. Now, when this came out in Japan, I basically had no idea about it until it was too freaking late because these boxes in Japanese are expensive as hell. Hell. So unless I get famous off YouTube and get some of them big YouTube monies, we probably won't be opening one here on the channel. So we're going to go with the Korean version, which was only, I think, like 25 bucks, maybe. So in the Japanese version, you got one of three gold rare cards, either red eyes, dark magician or blue eyes, a field center to go along with them. You got like a stand up card case was actually pretty sweet. And then you got six packs of the legendary gold set. I think there's like 48 cards in the set, something like that. But in the Japanese version, you were guaranteed one 20th secret rare. Now I have scoured the internet and I cannot find an opening of this on YouTube at all or anywhere else for that matter. I don't know if I'm just not searching in the right places or what, but I can't find it. So I don't exactly know what is in this since of course it's in Korean. Right there is all of the contents. I see it says legendary gold set and it says six. So I'm guessing we are still getting six booster packs. But other than that, I have no idea what this box contains. So enough of me rambling about this and going on about how much I love Yu-Gi-Oh now. Let's crack his baby open and see what it's all about. Got the tape here on the sides very carefully. There we go. Now, depending on what we do get in this, I may pick up another box just because, man, these are so cool. So, all right, let's, ooh, oh my God. We get a giant version Oh, that is insane. Okay, okay. So as you can see here, our card is Red Eyes, which I'm fine with. Red Eyes is awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's carefully take this tape off. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get another one of these already. This is so crazy, wow. All right, let me throw this off to the side and let's take a look at this jumbo Yu-Gi-Oh card gold rare wow it's like actually reflective on my ceiling it's crazy but gold rare red eyes black dragon that is so cool i love it you go back as normal that is so nice i man oh that's cool all right and of course we get the normal small version it's got the raised gold on it unlike the bigger version there I'm going to keep it in the plastic, but there you go. You want to see what it looks like right there. Big version. We get the field center. 
which these are pretty cool. I didn't realize what these were for the longest time, but instead of using like a dual mat or anything like that, put this in the center of the field, your opponent over here, you over here, boom. But very nice, I like it. Red Eyes Black Dragon. I might actually attempt to get uh, all of these different versions, who knows. But we do have our six packs, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Of the Legendary Gold set. Let's go ahead and crack these things open and see if we do get a 20 Seeker Rare. I don't know if it's the same way in Korean, if they have that going on or not. It might have been just Japan, but we'll see. Ooh, starting off, we've got Neo's Wise Man, which is the non misprint version. There is a misprint version that is a fusion. Uh, we got a blue eyes card, and they're all, what's that, like a parallel? hollow foil to them another space dragon and of course I don't know 90% of these so just bear with me we got a pendulum there and on the end ooh I don't know what you are but you are cool so we got what is this an ultra rare on the end yeah so we get parallels and an ultra rare okay so so it's parallels there Let's open up next pack here. Let's see, like I said, if we can get lucky. I've n I would imagine, since this is going off of like the Japanese version, you're probably going to get a 20th in here. I don't know. I'm really freaking hoping so. Uh, we got a thing that looks like a polymerization with more color. We got a synchro there. Tuner maybe? I don't know. Uh, we got another parallel, and on the end, we got a number monster, FN0. No idea what you are. I'm sure you people that know more about Yu-Gi-Oh know what this is. It looks sweet. Ooh, 3,000 attack and 2,000 defense. That ain't bad. All right. So there's those. Pack number three. Come on. Give me something I know, please. That's all I ask at this point. Just something I know what it is, so I don't look like a complete idiot. Open this up. Maybe. Might have to switch to scissors, because this is getting a little... There we go. A little annoying. Y'all don't need to sit there and watch me struggle. All right. Here we got another Neo's Wise Man. I just re like realized there's Neo's Dude and Yubel, I think it is, in the back. Kind of cool. We got the same looking polymerization looking card. Um, what is this? Barrelo Dragon, I think. I think that's it. it. Looks cool. I have wanted one of those. Uh, we got the same parallel as we did in the last pack, and I'm guessing we get one in each pack, I guess. I don't know. Pendulum. There we go. Not parallel. And on the end, we got... This is a Blue Eyes card. I know that. It's not, it's like a play on Deep Eyes of White or something. But that's cool. That's cool. I got a nice little Blue Eyes collection going on too, so I'll take that. Alright, pack number four. Let's see, get some different looking cards here. Starting off with one I have not seen yet. Looks cool. We got, oh, I know the name of this thing too, and I can't freaking remember it. 3,500 attack is crazy. Ooh, what is this? Uh, Ayatomias, I think. Ayatomias, one of them. It's, yeah, it's one of them cards. That's cool. I just got this in English as well, so it's cool to have it in Korean. I'm gonna set that off to the side. We got, what is this, like, Solid Man, I think? I've just been binge watching Yu Gi Oh! videos and trying to remember the names of the ones I've seen. And on the end, we've got the same dude again. So we got a double up. Out of 48 cards, we got a double up. Sucks. Oh well. All right. Pack number four. Oh, and this is going to be a struggle one again. Ooh, I got it. Never mind. All right. Let's see here. So I'm starting to lose hope that we probably aren't going to get a 20th. It's probably just Japan only. But either way, this is an awesome freaking box. Got cool looking volcanic dragon there. This thing we've pulled tons of times already. That is a Galaxy Eyes card, I know that. Ain't too bad. And on the end, 
Oh! Ooh, 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 ooh. What is this? Boral Land Dragon, I think? I think I got that one right. That is cool. Goes good with Boral Load already. Nice. All right. Final pack of the Legendary Gold Packs. Let's see what we can end with. Like I said, just, just anything I know. That's all I ask. All right. Ooh. Ooh, we do get a 20th. I just seen the edge. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got some kind of scroll looking thing. We got you have already seen. That is a Dark Magician card of some sort. I vaguely know it. We got our Pendulum for this pack. And our 20th Secret Rare on the end is... Ooh! Ooh, that looks good. Oh, it's not a 20th. It's like extra secret rare, maybe? All right, so Japan gets the 20th and Korean gets, I believe this is extra secret rare. Maybe. I don't know. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments below. But that is nice. That has got some crazy hollow to it. I like it. So you get at least or not at least, you get one of these in a box. So that's kind of cool. Nice. All right. So yes, I'm probably going to get another one of these just because I want to see what other ones we can get of the cool little special hollow there. And I want me some more gold cards of these. These are sweet. But yes, all in all, I am happy with this box. This is freaking awesome. I'm so glad I got it. And like I said, these cards look absolutely wonderful on par with Japanese. So if you're not wanting to pay all those expensive prices for the Japanese boxes or anything else like that, check out eBay. I'm telling you, y'all sleeping on Yu-Gi-Oh cards in Korean. They're great. But alrighty guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe and check out another video while you're at it. Don't forget to hit the little bell button, get notifications when more videos go up. And as always guys, thank you so much for the love and support. It is greatly appreciated. And I will talk to you all later. See ya.